Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Mellow 7 Gaming, and we are back. It is the last day of 2019. As I record this, I am back from my vacation. Hopefully, I've got the camera moved over enough. We shall see when we get into combat. I slid it over a little bit. Um, I did it earlier and did a little few audio checks um, on some recordings, but I forgot to actually see if I was out of the way of the ammunition. Uh, so we will see how that goes. Now, I do have a new Go XLR Pro, um, a little toy somewhere over there in the midst, right? Let's see if we can get that back up. Uh, and we're gonna be running all the audio through that. All the channels will go throughout. It will output one channel into my OBS and hence into my recording. So we will attempt to get our levels right here. Now I've played with it a little bit this morning already. You guys get a little bit of a save and that if it's a little bit too quiet or a little bit too loud, I can fix that in post. But I only have one channel that was this way. Um, and I'm gonna try to do it this way uh, because it'll make life easier for streaming if I can get one channel set up perfect because that's what you need when streaming. Um, and it'll make the editing go a little bit faster, but it means I have one less kind of, one less parachute in case I screw up audio on the first take that I, I can't fix it with multiple channels like I could in the past. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, big discussion about all sorts of stuff while I was on vacation. The first was um, how many mechs we run. Um, Philip thinks we should run with a lot. Um, and then just come back out for repairs when we need to. We shall see about that. I think that's probably gonna happen naturally, kind of more or less from here on out. We've got a reasonable set of mechs here um, for that sort of stuff. Uh, the next thing he was suggesting was we just go without this heat sink and we just go more armor. But um, I think we're, well, I guess we had enough. We had enough. Um, man, that's not much for two SRM6s, but we'll go, we'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. I'm not running it. Well, I take it back. I was running it last time, I believe. See, it's in, it's in spot one, which means I was the one driving the sucker around, and I do shoot. So we'll see how it goes. Um, however, we do have this dude here. Maybe I run him a little bit. Let's let's swap those two around, and I'll, I'll give the hunchy a try. Um, we do still have the trebuchet. Um, I think all the mechs are in reasonable shape at this point. Uh, that was the only one that needed anything. Let's check the market. Um, there is stuff to buy. We have a little bit of money, but not much. Um, they have a nice shadow hawk for five nine for nine for the trebuchet really i guess they just think a shadow hawk even though it's bigger and damaged is worth half the price of a trebuchet that seems a little odd to me we could almost afford a phoenix hawk if we wanted one um i'm not really a huge fan of the phoenix hawk blackjack would be probably more my speed um, but again, we're going to lose arms on a blackjack. Um, and we're not that far off on an archer, actually. I don't know what type of our inventory equipment-wise we have. Um, is there stuff we could sell? Uh, we're really... I just don't think we're going to come up with it. I think for now, we'll put a we'll put a pin in it and we'll remember it's there. Let's check the You're barracks because I honestly... I don't know what Captain Hex said. Um, I honestly don't remember who we have in this save, so let's go ahead and take a look really fast. Um, we've got Mason, obviously. 43 for Freeman. 25, 26, and 31. You're ready to stop wasting my time. You we're going to keep wasting your time, Hack. As long as you keep talking over the top of me in my stream, you're probably not going to get a job. Going to throw it out there. Just, you know, small thing, I know. Um, okay, well, I don't think we have much else to do here. Um, I guess we can check the market, see if there was any crazy items we want to buy. Um, AC-20s. AC-20 burst fire. LRM-10. Oh, we just don't have a lot of cash. I don't really see anything we can't live without here. Let's go ahead and check the star map real fast. We are in Terra, which is in the middle of this really nice, huge monster, like all-encompassing uh, hub here. So if you have better factions in one or the other, you can hit pretty much everybody except over here. Um, who is Merrick? Do we, get a, do we get a giant icon over here somewhere? No. Generally, that's who purple is. So... Otherwise, it gets into everybody else. Now, we do have some missions here, uh, and they do have a big one here with the hero uh, mech on the market there. Uh, and we've got one up here as well, uh, right there, with some missions. Now, let's see. This says it's for Reputation 12. That is not us. So I think we run away from that really fast. That's for six. Um, this is for six, and we do have this high reward quest here. Let's go ahead and... Should we look to see what the hero mech is first? I mean, just so we know what it is. And we'll take a look and see what we'll do. That's the loudest sound effect in the game, I think. 
That and uh, her saying all systems nominal as you go out. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a gen. And we don't mind Jenners. I like Jenners quite a bit, actually. Uh, and this is a pretty badass little Jenner, actually. SRMs and LRMs, you could just go just load up on SRMs on this sucker if you wanted to. Um, yeah, you could do two four. You could do four fours um, pretty easily and give yourself a lot of firepower. Probably better off not doing quite that much. You might just be better off doing fours and twos or maybe three fours and one LRM five to go after, uh, you know, uh, flyers and stuff. But not a bad little mech. Not for the price. Pretty acceptable. Oh, as long as we're here, let's check My the My combat skills are meant to impress, sir. Uh, we have Captain Hummel here, who's not bad. Uh, in fact, he's better than a few of what we have. Captain Henson, though, we've got up to 25. Cloutier's already up to 20. My um, combat skills are meant to impress, sir. He's at 17. He's good with heat. Eh, I think we can go with what we have for the moment. He is marginally better, and there is something to be said for always taking the slightly better pilot, but then you've got to train him up. Um, and he's only got a one in missiles. Uh, so I think we'll go with, although his taking skills are pretty decent. Wood cost is 232,000, which is about 10% of our cash at the moment. So no, I think we're gonna pass on him for now. And I'm gonna continue uh, on my little travels. I was thinking about there, how many, how many jumps is that? A bunch. We go here for defense quickly. Refugee hideout, six. Um, yeah, let's do that. It's close, and it looks like there's a probably a multi-mission one. We don't we don't still have a number of We still don't have the number of mechs we need for that, which is one of the one of Phillips bones of contention with me for, for trading multiple mechs for single mechs. Fair enough. Um, we shall see. Alright, we got one available contract. Hold the linchpin. Uh, House Slow, they're a little bit suspicious of us. But we still get four spots. So I'm going to put one in here. Uh, do we put the other three in there? Sure, what the hell. Um, we are going to need some money at some point. But who knows? Maybe we'll get something useful. Otherwise, we'll sell some stuff. Uh, 180 of 220. Do we have something that's 20 tons bigger? We do have a Kintaro now. It is 25 tons bigger, unfortunately. Um, we could... Hmm... What is that? Uh, my math isn't working this morning, so I'm going to throw it in there. We're five over if we do that. Um, that's 50. That's 55. That's 50. That's 50. So what we could do is we could get rid of the trebuchet, say. Let's give me the Kintaro. I haven't painted it bright yellow just for me. Um, and then we go with a Jenner. Gets us a little bit closer. We're within 10. And what do I have on that, Jenner? Medium lasers. Uh, is he any good with medium lasers? Yeah, he's maxed. Five better than he is with missiles. Um, yeah, I think we go something like that. I got my bright yellow little bumblebee right there with our zebras for the rest. Let's jump in and see what this one is like. All right, we are on the planet. Let's see what we got going on. We are our supposed to reach the friendly checkpoint. And this is a defense, I believe. Probably Go to trying to tell location, me about Meet up with the site director and prepare for a fight. We got no jump jets. You've reached the target, Commander. Do we have an entrance up here? Yeah, we do right here. All right, perfect. Mercenary Lance, I'm the council president of this community. Good for you. We're happy to see you were able to find us. Things are clear right now, but I don't expect it to stay that way for long. Hostile okay. forces just crossed the perimeter, Commander. They're heading your way. Target. All right. Get my weapons group up. Can you see the ammo? Yes, you can. All right, perfect. I got Let's it. go crush some stuff. We just had the perimeter alarm go off. They are getting close to our facility. Yeah, he Hostiles went down inbound. fast. Brace for contact, Commander. There we go. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, closest probably. Oh, we missed him. There we go. I was 
was using the wrong gun. Oh, we got a lot of dudes. Lots of dudes. We need to get up there and defend the city. Yeah, we did better than I thought. Yeah. 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 You do assume that uh, somebody else can deal with that. Oh, now. Yeah, a little fire starter action there. I'm kind of going back and forth between but in two. Which is the uh, single SRM6. And just launching them with everything. Which is the thumb button right now. Uh, let's go over the heat down. More heat. Oh, and I completely did that. There we go. Oh, he's so close. I wish somebody would grab him real fast for me. Somebody secure that kill. Focusing on is your target. I'm stuck here on the deal. Run down. Somebody want to finish him? There we go. Good job, Hunchy. Using the Hunchy. Uh, Freeman. There we go. Full on. Well, not Alpha. No, all SRM6s. Actually, this works pretty well. It gives me the one SRM6 when I'm flirting. Tangos are that direction. At least one group of them. Let's go over here and deal with them, and then we'll kind of move back. We're at 95% of the garrison. Some of you shoot. Don't just step on that one. Oh, there's a. Oh, we missed like every miss. Uh, maybe one hit on this thing. Yeah, you don't need those launchers, dude. I'm telling you, you don't. You don't. I've done in a very long time. Oh, look how close that is. Look how close we are to seven. Um, we don't have the, the, the salvage for that, unfortunately. And um, we could get a PPC. That's not bad. We could get a couple SRM6s, which isn't bad because we are using those at the moment. What's the next kind of highest value? This AC5? Okay, we'll grab that to round it out. Um, I did 857. Uh, it's a Kentaro. I mean, it's it's cheating is what it is. Really, what I should do is take the lowest damage guy, run it myself, and let them cr clean house with this. But you know what? I'm, je I'm uh, jealous. Jealous isn't the word I'm looking for. Um, I, w I, want, I want all the toys. <laughs> um, Captain Henson, again, he's maxed out at the moment, so there's not a whole lot he's going to do to get better. But he did just fine. He only took 30 damage. Only 11 damage taken by Clotier in the, in the Centurion, which is pretty amazing. Uh, and he did 263, not too shabby. Uh, man, I mean, those SRMs just clean house, though, right? And Freeman's continuing to level up. Uh, he leveled up uh, tanking there um, and got XP and four other things. So that's pretty nice. So let's hit close there. Um, go through real fast. This should be a pretty cheap and easy repair bill today. So if we were to do this, that's we would pay an extra 160. 300% more and doubles the time. Now, 
that was the only one in this mission. So let's say if we were to do this, let's take a look. So we would pay an extra 160. 24, so we're up to 184. Uh, 180, that's 2236-ish. And a lot more. So this one alone right here makes it worth going somewhere else. All right, so we're at 236, so we're at five. So we're about 700,000 to do these repairs. Um, now that's 300% more, you can see, but that's the additional bonus. So in this clay, in this case, it definitely makes sense to go somewhere else and to do that repair. Now we're thinking we want to go to Ronell anyway. Um, so we could either go this way, say New Hessen. That's four jumps. Or we could go to Northwind, which is two jumps. And from there, we could go to Ronell. Um, alternatively, we could go to there as well. Um, but this will put us in Davian space where we have more discounts. So let's do that. So I've been playing on my vacation on my shadow server um, and I'm in New Mexico and I had about a point, uh, sorry, a 45 millisecond um, latency between me and the server. So that means about a point I'm sorry, about a 90 millisecond round trip. So it shows it to me. I click. It takes another 45 seconds to get back, another or another 45 milliseconds to get back, another 45 milliseconds to show me what happened. And then I can click again kind of thing. And so uh, we've just been getting wiped. I've, I'm actually doing well. I think I'm up to like an 11 to level, level 11 or 12. Um, but I've done it with SRMs. Um, no aiming because I can't snipe anything at that type of delay. Even, even lasers are just about beyond me. Um, but uh, it's nice to be able to aim. It's taken me a little while to get used to the lack of the latency again. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look here. So if we repair, this was gonna be the expensive one. Um, and you see it's only gonna cost us 192 now. So let's go ahead, kick that one off. Now, we don't have a lot of cash, so this is definitely worth paying attention. Now there's times when you're gonna say, you know what, I've got 20 million up here. I really don't give a crap. I'm just gonna pay it because that way I don't have to travel somewhere and watch the cutscenes. Fair enough, and most of the time, I'm gonna warn you, that's probably gonna be me. Um, but we will try to pay a better attention to it, because it is a thing, it is legitimately a thing. Um, let's take the market real fast, see if there's anything fancy here. A hunchback, a rifleman, um, which we can't afford, but we're not that far off. Um, so that's that definitely a possibility. Which hunchy is it? It's the 4P, I do not mind the 4P. I prefer missiles to lasers. Uh, or a mix thereof, like we have in ours. But 4 is not terrible. Uh, and another trebuchet. So all good mechs here. All kind of around that, you know, 3 million-ish um, price point. Hunchy's a little bit less. We could walk out of here today with the Hunchback. Uh, in fact, we could even sell a few things and see. Uh, I don't think we're running anything there. I'm just going to sell that. Um, sell one LRM-10. We don't need probably five of them kicking around. PPCs we're going to need. Uh, we don't really have a whole lot of extra stuff. I and mean, we could sell some jump jets. At some point, though, jump jets will work again. We will have a video shortly dealing with the last major patch. I understand it's going to be very late. But as far as our save goes, it just happened between this episode and the last episode, right? As far as that goes. Um, so we will talk a little bit about that. Um, while I was testing this morning for audio, I did notice that mechs are not ejecting. Pilots are not ejecting when they're out of weapons. Um, they say they are. You get a little message. He says, oh, I'm, I'm punching out. I don't have any guns left. Um, but then they don't actually punch out. So um, post-patch, that appears to be in a worse state than it was before. Um, people didn't always jump out, but Griffins always jumped out, punched out. And the Griffin that I shot this morning did not jump out, despite him saying it. So um, I have noticed that as far as the patch goes. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And I have some friends that have been playing a lot of co-op. Um, I've been watching a little bit. And they've been having trouble with fire starters overheating. Um, not cooling back down again. They just go straight to overheat and stay there. So. We'll have to pay attention to mechs doing that as well. So I don't see anything else here Ready, we need. Um, we made a little bit of money, but I don't see much there. There's no pilots here we want. Let's go star map. Um, maybe we'll go here and then up to Ronald. We'll work our way that way because we will get bonuses for this one. We could even do this. Um, we got two assassination contracts here. Let's do that. 
We'll be right back as soon as we get to uh, Heen. Alright, Heen it is. Um, pending transmission of the trader. Uh, that's the that's the one about um, from Kurita going after the, the guy that defected. Um, let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, BR shield, flashpoint, and let's do this one. I like assassinations. Let's go ahead and end on this one. It's a fun one. We've got lots of salvage. Let's grab all of that. Um, I'm going to put one point in there and one point in there, and that should be everything. Uh, and let's go ahead and accept and jump into it. I think we just stick with what we've got for the moment. It'd be great to have something else a little bit bigger or maybe, you know, get an extra five tons in there somewhere that we could use. But for now, we are okay. Everybody seemed to do fine last time with what they had. So. Something feels weird in places like this. I agree. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to do a better job, I hope, of trying to edit out dead space. So loading screens, long walks up with nothing going on, that sort of stuff. Um, and at some point, I'm also planning on adding music in to uh, into these as well. Um, I did get one of my. Uh, I have a visual on the target. Take them out. Oh come on! Oh did I get him? Yeah. All right. Um, there he is. Uh, Talk, spider, color of ten. You need to die. I got it. You need to die. You need to die. <laughs> you can die. I'll step on you. There we go. All right, I'm feeling a little bit happier about what we got at the moment. Didn't quite hit with that as well as I like. There's a little too much explosion going on. Up on it. Down he goes. There's a rock here I can't get through. You know what? I'm just gonna run. Uh, 700 meters. You guys fight for a second. You know, we do have some salvage on this. What does this do? Uh, they're Kintaro, right? Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's not a golden boy. He's flying. Now let's get the hell out of here. Sweet. Oh, we lost him a leg. Can we cost him the other one? May as well. Hung up on some rocks again. I'm just trying to get out of here. I've killed two, two dudes on my way out. I appear to be the most dangerous. Damage. Got a little locust running around out there. I'm gonna ignore him, I think. I don't really care. Actually, I'm just hoping we get a little enough salvage to grab that Kintaro. I don't think we will. Um, but either that or the Phoenix Hawk would be useful. Like I said, I'm not a huge Phoenix Hawk fan, but for free, I'll take it. There we go. Reputation rank seven. We are up to respected. Woohoo! Not very respected, but respected. And, of course, no salvage for mechs. Those bastards. That's okay. We'll grab some stuff. Um, we'll just grab all of it, I guess. Oh, some arc ammo. That's not a terrible thing to have. You know what? Instead of these, I'm going to grab some heat sinks. I'll grab those two. Oops. Something like that. We'll go with that. There we go. Uh, how do we do? Not too bad. I took a little bit of damage. Everybody else was pretty reasonable. Um, I did most damage on top of that, though, so I think I can be, you know, forgiven that. And Captain Clotier, look at that again. Only 19 damage taken in the Centurion. He's just... I don't know what it is. He's just unhittable. <laughs> in fact, he, he, he improved his evasion skill up a little bit better, too, um, which is crazy. But, you know, Centurions aren't really known. There we are looking at the ceiling. Um, for evading damage, really, to be honest. Um, so now we can look and see. This one is going to cost us 21000 Additional, this one's going to cost us 4600 due to the tax. 7200 I think these are worth uh, 
these are worth doing. This is going to be the most expensive. 56000 I'm willing to pay that for this one, especially because we have a bunch more missions nearby. And it's going to cost us at least 100000 to go to a place and back. And I don't think there's one one jump away. So in this case, I'm going to go with the repairs and call it a day. Um, and I think that's that for our first episode back. Hopefully, I fixed most of the problems. I will find out if the audio is any good when I get to editing. Uh, it looked like you could see the ammo when I moved the screen off. We dumped the heat sink and just added some armor on to our javelin, which we didn't even use this turn, um, which is fine. Um, and we're going to see about going forward. Uh, slight editing changes, like I said, going forward. Try to make these things a little snappier, which means I should probably stop talking. And we'll try to get some music added into it. We experimented a little bit with it in the beta, and people seem to like it. If you have a huge dislike of music during the combat, let me know. Or a huge wish to see some, let me know. Um, and we'll see what we can do. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.